Hello and welcome to the Wednesday, July 26, 2023 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Today let's jump right into currently exploited vulnerabilities. Ivanti published an advisory regarding its Ivanti Endpoint Manager Mobile formerly known as Mobile Iron Core, fixing a vulnerability CVE 2023-35078 with a perfect CVSS score of 10.0. Apparently there's an authentication bypass vulnerability that allows unauthorized users to access the device without proper authentication. The problem here is that this is already being exploited Norway released a press release saying that uh, they had 12 of the ministries in their country compromised by this vulnerability. All currently supported versions of the product are affected as well as some unsupported, so end of life releases as well. So must patch here and looks like according to Shodan that there are more than 2,900 mobile iron user portals exposed online. And talking about software needing patches, we also got patches from Atlassian for a Confluence. Three remote code execution vulnerabilities are being addressed here with a CVSS score between 7.5 and 8.5. This affects a Confluence data center and server, well, two of the vulnerabilities, as well as Bamboo, that's the third vulnerability. Now, the reason these vulnerabilities have not sort of a critical CSS score is that they do require authentication. However, once the attacker does have any credentials that work for the particular server, they are able to execute arbitrary code. And haven't heard in a while from any new CPU vulnerabilities. Well, thanks to uh, Travis Ormandy from Google's Project Zero, we now have a new vulnerability in the AMD Zen 2 CPUs. The problem here is yet again related to speculative execution where we may have a certain data and commands staged in the CPU that's then not being used, but also not completely deleted, which may leak the data to other processes. And by being very creative in how you are scheduling your tasks, you can actually trigger this vulnerability and with that gain access to memory from a different process that you're not supposed to have access to. Luckily, the vulnerability was reported to AMD and AMD was able to address it with a microcode update. This microcode update is often being included in in operating system updates and being loaded into the CPU at boot time. And VMware patched an interesting vulnerability in the VMware Tansu application service for VMs. Uh, This is sort of one of those interesting oversights in that the vulnerability causes admin passwords to be locked. So the problem here is that the admin password will show up in logs in the clear and well, other users that are not administrators may have access to these logs. The trick here is that yes, there's a patch available and you should apply the patch for this vulnerability. By the way, it's CVE 2023-2891. However, just uh, patching the vulnerability may not really be enough here because well, you already have this password leaked all over your logs. You may want to First of all, check if it's there, uh, but even if you can't find it right away, there is a support document from VMware about how to update your user accounts. And that's highly recommended here because again, you may not necessarily know where that password ended up. Well, and that's it for today. Sorry for being a little bit heavy sort of on vulnerabilities, but had some catching up uh, to do with all the vulnerabilities being released uh, lately. Thanks for listening. Please recommend this podcast uh, to your friends. Leave a comment uh, at your favorite podcast platform or at the very least, just click on that five-star rating. Thanks and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.